Okay, let's stop fucking around. Ichinose. Ren Ichinose, you should not have been present. What? Ren? Ah, I knew it. You were the... Sophia is the friend you were looking for. Ichinose! You were able to gain access into the mansion by means of a secret tunnel. That's a completely groundless accusation! My grounds for the accusation are contained within this diary. Sophia's diary, to be exact. Sophia's diary? I found pages from this diary scattered all across the mansion. What was written within them, within them was quite intriguing. For instance, this last entry Sophia wrote in her diary on December 27th, 2015. I was able to eat any human meat without problem. Now it looks like I could only eat female meat after all. Hmm? Whenever a boy or a man arrives at my home, I kill them as soon as possible and use their meat for cooking. But you weren't killed. According to this entry, Sophia does not lock up any boys or men in the jail cell of the basement. Nevertheless, you were down there. D no way. I had no idea. Aside from Sophia's mother and father, there was one other person she wrote of quite frequently. I was shocked when I suddenly saw a teenager who didn't look that much older than me entering my bedroom from the window. They took one look at me and cried out, Monster! It was pretty rude of them to call me that. And after seeing that I am not some kind of monster, they stayed and talked to me for a while. It's been a while since I talked to anyone aside from my own family, so it was a lot of fun. I told them that coming, into, coming to my window could one day land us both in trouble, so I let them know about the secret passage down in the basement. That way we can both see each other without alarming anyone. I also told them the password to unlock the trap door. And then my papa, mama, and myself know this password. And now my new teenage friend knows it too. They told me that they will come back to see me. Can't wait to have fun hanging out with them again. This teenager she writes about. She's talking about you, isn't she? <sighs> Ichinose! So what Mr. Hinaba is trying to say? You have tricked all of us, Ichinose? Mr. Hinaba, is it? Your current deductions are nothing more than conjecture. Hmm. I'm right, aren't I? You don't have a scrap of evidence past the circumstantial. He's not wrong. I'll be clear, I've never been to this mansion before. I'm really some kind of mastermind that put everyone in danger. Please produce that evidence now. I... I... I have that evidence. Nina? I have evidence that you were the culprit, did you know, say? That... Arimura? So you're telling us that you had never come to this mansion before? Then you came here with your friend and got separated when Sophia caught you, right? Yeah, that's right. Are you saying I'm lying? In that case, when we had all managed to escape from the jail cell, how did you know what floor we were on? Eh? I believe all of us were knocked out just before we woke up in a jail cell. Therefore, none of us should have known where we were being held at. Hollywood is right. Not so, and I were unconscious when we were caught by that girl, Sophia. We never really saw where she took us during that time. Yet you knew that. Yet you knew that we could reach the first floor from the ladder, did you know, sir? Yet you mean? I mean, you could explain this away, but. Ah, this ladder we can climb. It looks like we should be able to reach the first floor that way. I mean, in theory, you could assume that we're in a cold, gray place. This, this reeks of basement. <laughs> if this really was your first time here, why would you make such a claim? That's because I... On top of that, there's this lantern I had found in the base. Oh, you brought that. For everything in the basement, this lantern is the only item that was still in brand new condition. Everything else we'd found down there was old and falling apart. That's because you specifically brought it with you, right? And so what if I did? So you're telling us that when Sophia attacked you and threw you down in the basement, you somehow were able to maintain a death grip on this lantern in your unconscious state. Don't you think that's a bit strange? Sorry, I don't buy that. Top of that, you were trying to lead us towards Sophia's room, under the pretense that you were still looking for your friend. And you were specifically going on alone. <sighs> so, Harimura, if you knew about all this, then why did you accept Ichinose Ichinose's proposal to go upstairs in th to the second floor? Because at the time, there was the slight, that slight possibility that Ichinose's friend may still be in there somewhere. I didn't want to chance that. The truth of the matter is that there wasn't any friend to begin with. Am I right, Ichinose? That is to say... I 
I've searched this entire mansion from top to bottom. I can say with fair certainty that the only recently dead bodies I've found are those of Ando's and Shibasaki's friends near the engine. entrance. The only survivors are present in this very room. Ichinosa, your true purpose in coming here was to reunite with Sophia. So you were only pretending to cooperate with us until you reached your goal. Am I wrong about that? I... I have no words to refute you with. Oh, Ichinose. So you admit it? Yeah, it's exactly as you say. I came here to see Sophia. I'm truly sorry for placing all of you in danger. Ah. Uh, uh. Hey, Sophia. I'm sorry to make you wait. It's me, Ren. Do you remember? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Nizabudka. Nizabudka. Huh? Niza, Nizabu. What? Nizabudka. It's the Russian word for the forget-me-not flower. Ah. Oh, this is a password that Sophia taught me a long time ago. As long as I have this flat password, I can go through the secret tunnel. Isn't that right, Sophia? Venno, paro, Nizabudka. Ren, no one. Except Ren could know the pa password. Nesabutka. Yes, that's right. It's me. I came back. You said you would come back. Ren, you are a liar. Yeah, I know. I know I made that prom I know I made a promise to you over a year ago. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I had to back out of it. My family had to move out of town. It was so sudden, and I had no time to tell anyone. But I just came back to this town the other day. I'm sorry I made you wait for me. Please, forgive me, Sophia. I missed you so much. Ren. The attack dog. I should stop trying to pronounce Russian. I don't have... I don't know. I'm bad. You're so late. I've been... I've been waiting. Oh! I've been waiting for you forever! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So this case is closed? It seems so. For now, Sophia has regained her humanity. That's good. Whew. Man, my brain is exhausted. Hmm. Well, you get a passing grade for your deduc deduction of that case, sorry, <laughs> Well, I am Mr. Inaba's number one assistant, after all. That you are. Thank goodness. That means we can go home now, right? I agree. We should go ahead and leave. I'm all for that. We also need to get Ichinose and Sophia out of here as well. Uh, hey. Could you guys go on ahead? I'd like to spend a little more time with Sophia. Of course. All right, Mr. Inaba, lead the way. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Okay, here is the chain of events that happened inside the old mansion which was responsible for the collapse of a foreign family who had moved there. Soon after Sophia's family had moved to Japan, Sophia's father started having an affair that went on for months. This led to fights between her parents and her father of even hitting Sophia. Eventually her father stopped coming home, and Sophia then murdered her father's mistress. Holy shit! Sophia's mother began to fear her daughter and placed her under house arrest. Locked inside the mansion, a teenager by the name of Ren Ichinose saw Sophia while entering through her window. He came by to visit her again, and he began to hold a special place in Sophia's heart. However, as soon as they met each other, Ren suddenly had to move away, and he didn't get a chance to tell Sophia. In her mind, he simply vanished. At the same time, Sophia's mother abandoned her daughter and left her all alone in the mansion. Having run out of food and faced with the extreme situation where she could end up dying, Sophia lost what remains of her humanity she had. The little girl started to eat human flesh. As the mansion turned to ruins, rumors started to spread of a haunted mansion where a flesh-eating ghoul would reside. Sophia would then eat anyone who came into her home. But a year and five months later, Ichinose returned to the town and learned what had become of his friend. Wow. That's really sweet. Oh, these are forget-me-nots! Now, Mr. Inaba, do you remember what I had told you before about the meaning of the forget-me-not? 
as according to the language of flowers? They stand for remembrance and memories, right? You remembered! But you're still forgetting one more thing. Meaning, can also mean true love. Uh, right. Oh, we can reunite with Kaede. Kaede? Big sister, I'm so happy you're alright! Yep, and we've solved the case. Just as I expected from my big sister. That's nice and all, but we need to get out of here already. Jeez, of course Mr. Weirdo is all scared and wants to run back home with his tail between his legs. That is not the reason, and you know it. Ah. Uh, um, gu um, guys, do you smell that? It smells like something's burning. Huh? Yeah, it does. Something's definitely burning. It smells like it's coming from Sophia's bedroom. It's definitely strange. We should check it out. That's not ideal. That's not ideal in the slightest. Oh, fuck. What in the... Ichidose! Sophia! Stay back! Huh? Sophia killed people. She ate them. The world won't forgive someone like her. The true bearer of that sin is me. I'm the one who caused all this. She wouldn't be like this if I didn't leave her all alone with no one to return to. That's why I, too, have to be punished along with her. The only way to atone for this is with our lives. No! Please, no! Oh, the flames are too strong. We're also going to die if we stay here. Uh, hurry, just get out of here. I'm sorry for involving you all to the very end. Mr. Hinebo, what should we do? Damn it! <sighs> oh! Mr. Inaba, what about Ichinose and Sophia? Uh, oh, shit. No! There's nothing we can do for them. But if we don't hurry and get out of here, we'll be burned alive too. Sam's right. As heartless as it may sound, we need to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mr. Weirdo, it's smoky in here. Kylie, we need to get out of here. Uh, Mr. You know, but doesn't this fire seem to be sweating a little faster than normal? Each knows he must have been preparing this entire time. This the entire time. Uh, hey, I don't want you all to die. So when can we get moving? All right, let's go. There is one way to go. There's no time for that. All right. So we managed to escape from the mansion. Not long after, firefighters arrived to put out the flames. Inside, they found the charred remains of a boy and a girl, both embracing each other. We told the police all we knew and returned home. Both Ichinose and Sophia offered their own lives as compensation for the sins they committed. Was what they did the right thing? Was it wrong? I cannot say. I'm in no position nor qualified to judge their actions. All I can do is announce that this case is closed. This will be one mystery file I will never forget. And two, their happiness. So, oh, 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 I need to load something farther back. Okay. The thing I'm curious about is if we can use the wine for something. Is there anything in here we can use? I don't think so. Well, alright. 
Let's load back into this. Oh, okay, we can get to them. Let's get out of here. Follow me. Leave us. Sophia and I, we have to die here. That's for the best. Ooh! Oof! Punch. If Sophia is truly that important to you, then how could you even think of deciding to die together? Dying like that is just an excuse to run away from your own culpability. You're wrong. Because I abandoned Sophia. That's why I have to do this. So two wrongs make a right? You're running away again now. If you really want to atone for your sins, you will keep on living. Even if you have to crawl through mud to do it. And spend your entire life by Sophia's side and carry the weight of her sins as well. That is what it means to redeem yourself. Uh, what? What I want. What we want. Ren. Sophia. I. Ren. As long as I'm with you. Neus. Nistratas. No. Nothing scary anymore. Huh? Sophia. Me too. I'm not scared anymore. Because of you. I don't want to be alone any longer. Pozorusta, the very menya otsuda. I want to see how outside looks again. I understand. I'll keep that promise to you. Let's get out of here, Sophia. Great. Then let's get going. We'll all leave together. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Oh, okay. That's blocked off now. Ichinose! Sophia! You must have breathed in too much of the smoke. It appears they're only unconscious now. I'll carry Ichinose on the back. Uh, I'll carry Sophia on mine! Animura, you can use me for support. Lean on my shoulder. R right! Thanks, Ando. We need to hurry. The fire is getting worse. I concur. Let's go to the entranceway. Let's go! Fuck yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Kaede, let's go. <laughs> Mr. Weirdo, it's smoky in here. Kaede, we need to get out of here. And Mr. Inaba, doesn't this fire seem to be spreading a little faster than normal? Ichinose must have been preparing this the entire time. Uh, hey, I don't want all of you to die. So can we get moving? Yes, ma'am. I was thinking we actually had to do something to break through the fire and get to them, but... That makes sense. Oh god. Oh god. The ceiling collapsed! Oh no! No way. What do we do now? Oh yeah! Mr. Weirdo, while you were away for so long, we took a look around and found a trapdoor in the basement. Oh. Really? It's possible that this was that this trapdoor could lead us to the secret tunnel that Ichinose used. And you must hurry that way, Mr. Inaba. Right. Alright. Uh, it's this way. Over this way! Oh god. Oh god. I was right under here. Oh my god, this is really going. This is the trapdoor I found. This is it. This trapdoor, it's made of iron. But, but who would open? Uh, hold on, I see an input lock here. The combination dials all in Russian letters. What should we put in? Password that opens up the secret tunnel. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, Nezabudka. And I think it's spelled pretty much. Neza. Bood. Okay. Oh, you did it, Mr. Inaba. The trap door's open. Hurry and get inside, everyone. We'd escape through here. We all escaped through the secret tunnel. It led out to the woods at the back of the mansion. Far off in the distance, we could hear the sounds of sirens. Soon after, the firefighters extinguished the flames and we sent Ichinose and Sophia to the hospital. After he woke up, Ichinose ensured that Sophia's condition had stabilized and then turned himself over to the police. Thus the case was brought to the close. This will be one mystery file I will never forget. Ah! Ah! 
Oh. Oh, hey. Where were their names offhand? Yeah, this is... Oh, this is a review of the series. There's Mr. Police Officer. And his brother. Who literally killed him. Dead. I'm dead. And Kaede and her mama? Yeah, the match from the first game. Second game. Ah, oh, they're building their snowman. Ah, oh, hey. Sasamoto. Oh. Oh, they're all doing so well. Oh, <laughs> Good shot. Oh, yep, yep, we're still at the mansion. Hey, it's the gardener full, fella. Oh, there she is. Sakura. I think that was her name. It's been a while since I played part two. Ah, hey, there he is. There's our boy. <laughs> Captain Bottom. Dr. Arima. And Officer Arima. Detective Arima. Ooh. Ah, okay, day. Here we are. Sophia and Ichinose. Oh. Oh. When they first met. Before things went to heck. That's really cute. <gasps> oh! I'm glad each Nose and Sophia weren't seriously injured. It ended up being convenient for you since it gave you a chance to have your ankle looked at without an extra trip. <laughs> Is it that I'm still not good to walk on it? So I'm sorry for making you carry me, Mr. Inuba. Well, you are pretty scraggly, so it's no bother to me. <laughs> hey, you could just say that I'm light. <laughs> Looks like Kaede returned back to the other side. Her boss must have figured out that she was playing hooky on the job. <laughs> There's still so much I wanted to speak to her about. Will she, able to, will she be able to come back again? Well, I might just put a cardboard box in my office. Leave it closed. Then occasionally, when I'm feeling lonely, open it up and pray that she tries to grab me again. Hopefully next time she'll let me know in advance when she's arriving. <laughs> yeah, she must have scared you out of your wits. Mind repeating that? <laughs> Ow, he don't pull my cheek like that. You can't carry me with one arm. Don't you dare make me fall. Hmm. Where are your manners? B forgive me! Please don't drop me, sir! Hey. Arimura. Yeah? You've been my assistant for such a long time. Huh? Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden, Mr. Inuma? I begin to wonder if it's time that you graduate from being my assistant. Huh? Soon you'll be attending, an attending a university. It'd be unreasonable for you to still be my assistant at that point. Mr. Inaba? Uh, yeah, you're right. I can't just stay with you forever, can I, Mr. Inaba? Yeah. I understand. When I graduate from high school, I will also graduate from being your assistant. You are the very best assistant that I could ever ask for. What are you saying, Mr. Inaba? From now on, I'll continue to be your assistant. What? But aren't you going to graduate? Am I graduating this moment? I don't think so. It's still the middle of summer and I haven't finished high school yet, you know? I still have a ways to go before that happens. That's true. 
And that's why. And that's why. Until that time comes, please allow, please allow me to continue be, to be your assistant. Arimura. Hm. I expect you to work hard until the very last minute. <laughs> As I should. My work will be flawless. Just do what you always do. And that'll be enough. Roger that. You can count on me because I am. Ah! Number one assistant to the great detective, Sogo Inaba. Ah. And on to the next case. Ah, that was really sweet. Uh oh. Thank you very much for playing Mystery Files at Tomb of number three. After this entry, I, Manachu the Scenario Writer, and the rest of us at Suica Bar can take a break and step away from the Mystery Files of Detective Inaba series. There's always a possibility that a story involving Sogo and Nina will happen. That is a conversation for another time. Everyone here at Suica Bar would like to sincerely thank you for all of your support throughout the Mystery Files of Detective Inaba series. We hope to see you again in the future. On to the next case. Alright, what can we do here? No one's here. Sasami Shibasaki, also known as the timid female student in the investigation files of the assistant Arimura Prologue. Sasami is the crybaby tomboy of the group. In Sasami's concept, she was originally going to be Sophie's teenage friend instead of Ren. For this, we wrote Sasami to be a character of an ambiguous gender. Therefore, we initially designed her to be a feminine boy who would dress in girls' clothing. However, the concept ended up being too much for us to handle, she didn't connect much to the scenario. So we started, decided in the end to turn her into a tomboy instead. Personally, I wish I could have done more with the development of the lesbian relationship between Sasabi and Natsuki. And Manichu. Yeah. I mean, I'd be curious to see more of. They're obviously close. Natsuki Ando, also known as the energetic female student in the prologue. We usually imagine Natsuki as a big sister type of character. That's really what she came across as. One of the first things we wanted in the mystery files of Detective Inaba number 3 was to have two girls who are the best of friends. As a result, we created Natsuki and Sasami to fill these roles, with Sasami being completely reliant on Natsuki. When Natsuki was with Nina and the other students, she took on the role of being a mother-like figure to them. Since she speaks to everyone without any favoritism, it's easy for her peers to be motivated by her. Yeah, that came across. Seeing as she's very athletic, it could be nice to see Natsuki out there playing team sports like softball or lacrosse. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, oh, bonus scenario. Oh, definitely. We'll go through all this first. Sophia. Sophia is the main antagonist in the Mystery Files, number three. As the entire story is centered around her, the game couldn't be made without creating her character first. The earliest drafts of the story was simply a story focusing entirely on Sophia. There weren't going to be any scenes into Sogo and Nina's past as to how they first met. Also, since it's the last game in the trilogy, we decided that the player should also be able to play as Nina, and the game began expanding from there. Sophia was born and raised in Russia. However, her father's job led her and her family to move to Japan in March 2015. She was just 10. Considering the dates written on the diary, we know that she's now 12 in this game. Oh. When Sophia started consuming human flesh, she had steadily gone mad. Additionally, the influence of the spirits of the people in the mansion she had killed for food also likely affected her. This giving Sophia some strange supernatural powers. Well, that makes sense. It kind of created a big closed space cage that people couldn't escape from. Such powers include the ability to turn the area around her mansion into a closed space. Oh, thank you. I clearly just said that. Thus making it impossible for victims to escape. This closed space also prevented people from contacting the outside world. Sophia's memories of Ren were almost certainly the only thing keeping her with, it, with even a vestige of her humanity. Now that she was able to reunite with her long-lost long lost friend, her desire to eat human flesh should have subsided. Despite losing her humanity from cannibalization, I believe Sophia will gradually return to the fun-loving girl she once was. The only want is for her to be happy with Ren from now on. Oh. Ren. Ren is a character who is working behind the scenes in the mystery files of Detective Inaba number 3. He is also, also the teenage friend of Sophia, as mentioned in her diary entries. Ren's entire existence was designed around Sophia. 
especially when he has such a pivotal role in her story. Therefore, fleshing out his character was so vital, I recall having my fair share of difficulty forming him. In the end, we at Suikabar decided on the idea of having Ren become the foil of Soko, basically be a male version of Nina. For example, we could liken Soko to a cat, then Ren would be a dog, and etc. Huh. Ren's biggest regret in his life is never having the time to properly say goodbye to his young Russian friend, Sophia, before his family's sudden move. Since Sophia's diary was written two years ago, in 2015, Ren first met Sophia when he was 14 years old. He was the teenager who climbed up the window to her mansion on a dare, thus blossoming their newfound friendship. Now that he's 16 years old, Ren returned to his old hometown to see Sophia as soon as he arrived. However, upon it entering her mansion through the secret tunnel, you tell immediately that something was very wrong. His fears were founded when he discovered Sophia was eating people. Ren blamed himself and thought it was all his fault that this had happened. The end result is what you saw unfold in this game. I think moving forward, Ren will atone for his sins by taking Soho's advice to heart, never leaving Sophia's side for as long as they live. I mean, she doesn't have any family, so... Oh, save point! I mean, I think we're gonna do that. So I have a gallery save point. What's in the fridge? Nothing. Ooh! Turn to bits out the game. First, Kaede. I'm quite partial to Kaede since I was originally her character designer. She was already a beloved character. As the one in charge of the scenario, her involvement was basically a perk of my position. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I could tell. Therefore, I wanted Kaede to make an appearance in the Mystery Files number 3 at all costs, so all of us at Sikabar had to brainstorm what unique gimmick she could utilize. We realized that having Sogo be all by himself for the Inaba portion of the game made it difficult for him to vocalize his thoughts. But once we threw Kaede in as a partner, everything became a lot smoother. One of the main aspects about Kaede in this game is that she finally crossed over with her mother. Now Kaede is able to become the happy, normal little girl she was always meant to be. If you were to compare Kaede to herself in number one, you can see that she has changed quite a bit. You could think this is how Kaede was always meant to be personality-wise before all of the tragic events happened. I feel that her current design is more in line with her being an actual little kid than her original design in number one. But it's probably just my imagination. Yeah. This is her happy, healthy ghost design, as opposed to the uh, lingering, cursed ghost design. What's this window? Oh, illustrations. Ah, yes. That is the prologue spoiler. Inibus oh, we didn't see this. Because we survived that first point. Uh, I don't want to see the freshly severed head. Family portrait. Yep. Bop. Oh, it's at that point that she returned to just being a normal girl. Ah, oh, there's the secret. Ichinose meets Sophia. Comes to visit Sophia. And that's really sweet, too. That's just sweet. Okay. Oh! If you go back to the title screen now, there will be a new title illustration. There are two of them. One with the young Sogo and Nina, and the other with Sophia and Ren. Please make sure to see them both. Okay. There are minor dialogue variations to the jump scares on the first floor's toilet room, dining room, and bathroom, depending on which girls are in Sogo's... Oh! You have to agree that the jump scares are not as scary when Nina is around. Lol. <laughs> So goes in Kaede's conversation. There's a small window of the player to read some interesting exchange between Soto, Sogo, and Kaede. Do this after the scene in the charm protected room. Monster sensitive to sounds. Oh, I did that. Three different exchanges between the two? I think I got two of them. Not three of them. Okay. I mean, let's go back and see the- Yeah, there! Oh, a new title fee. That is really cute. Oh! There they are!
they are. <laughs> It's, oh, it's randomly decided which one we get. That's really sweet. But first, I'm gonna go see these extra seeds. Which you've seen in the past. Mr. Inuma, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, what is it? The teacher told me at school today that cigarettes are super bad for you. Demon cigarettes? Oh, like they can kill you, is that it? That's right. So I want you to stop using those ciggy rats right now. So I could quit I should quit smoking just because you told me to. Hey. Hey now, if you got something to say, then come out and say it. Uh, Mr. Hinaba, if I lose you, you'll be left all alone again. You don't want that. <sighs> Fine, I'll cut back on the cigarettes. But don't expect me to quit cold turkey. <gasps> yeah! You can cut them half the size! Uh, but no, no. Cigarettes work? So I think my mouth would feel kind of bored without having a cigarette in there. Maybe you need a replacement? In that case, I can give you some lollipops instead of these icky smelly cigarettes. That way you will live a long life, Mr. Inaba. Hmm, that works. Thanks for watching over me, Nina. Oh, that's sweet! Oh. The present? Let's go to the beach, Mr. Inaba! No. <laughs> wow, you shot that one down real fast. Who in their right mind would purposely go someplace where it will be hot and sunny in this scorching heat? I cannot fathom the logic behind it. I'd much rather stay indoors with the air conditioning. Just go out to the beach without me. It's much better if we go together. So please, pretty please. I already invited the others. Oh! Then you can go out and enjoy their company, while I stay here and enjoy my peace and quiet. But I already told them they would be there. So they won't be expecting you, Mr. Inaba. Oh, why would you... Alright, Mother, you can't go making any decisions without consulting me first, you know? Uh-oh, and they're here. Ah, they're here! <laughs> oh, no! Everybody's going! <laughs> oh, I... Hello, Miss Arimura. How are you doing today? Sorry if we kept you waiting. I'm doing well. It's not a problem at all. It's great to see you, Aoi, Miss Akane. Oh, no. Oh, so you invited them. Yep, so what do you think? Now, do you feel like going, Mr. Inaba? What's this? Don't tell me he's not hes not even ready yet. I'm not going. Ha huh? Mr. Inaba, is he going to be going with us? Uh, no. I I'm really sorry, Aoi. You have to understand that Mr. Inaba is quite the shut-in. Absolutely hates going outside. Oh, that's a shame. I was really looking forward to him being with us. <sighs> I guess I could make a, make an exception. Eh? Seriously, Mr. Inaba? Sheesh, she's like putty in her hands. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this for us, Mr. Inaba. Hmm. Oh, Kaide! <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen Mr. Weirdo totally giving in to someone like that. The, the, Kaide! I thought I told you not to appear out of nowhere. I don't remember you tell I don't remember you telling me that. <laughs> Why you little What the Seriously, what's with you and kids all of a sudden, Mr. Inaba? I thought this was a detective agency, not a daycare. Be reasonable now. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that you've started this whole Inaba daycare bureau thing of yours ever since you took in Arimura. Arimura's just my assistant. I mean, I suppose. Do you have a point there? You have a, you have a point there, Akane. As for Kaede. Well, I guess you could say that she's an earthbound ghost, but not? Maybe it's better to call her a jobbound ghost? What the heck does that even mean? <laughs> Kaede, I didn't expect you to come here. Why wouldn't I be here? We all know that summer is a great time to whip up some good scares. And no scares would be complete without ghosts. And that's where I, Kaede, come in. Such utter nonsense. <laughs> so I heard that you guys are going to the beach. I want to come too. Ghosts even swim around in the water. Jeez, Mr. Inaba. I was a human before I was a ghost. Besides, places with water are great haunting spots. Not this again. I'm happy with this. The more, the merrier. I 
think we're all in agreement here. So come with us, Mr. Inaba. Uh, hold on. So it's just going to be the five of us? Uh, yeah, it should be everyone. Now would you mind if I invite one other person? Eh? Huh? Are you saying you actually have a friend that's willing to come over? Very funny. No one really wants to be Mr. Weirdo's friend, huh? Kind of makes me feel sorry for him. <laughs> Please tell me it's Dr. Harm. I will be friends with you, Mr. Inup. Oh, you're so sweet. Sweet child. Oh, I... well, are you going to call up this friend of yours or not? You already know how much I despise being kept waiting. Uh, what was that saying again? Bad things come in threes? <laughs> I don't want to hear that from you, especially when you started this chain of unfortunate events. <laughs> now, I'll do that. Now, we are going to pull my cheek off at the face at this rate. Hmm. Shall we head on out? Grr, you're the one to talk, Mr. Inaba. You were the only one holding us all, all of us up. Oh? Ah! Oh. Wow, we're finally here at the beach. Look at the ocean, Mr. Inaba. <laughs> Thank you for the astute observation. Cannonball! Caddy, you're a ghost. Eek, the water is so cold. Ah, oh, wait just a moment, Aoi. You too, Arimura. Need to put on some sunscreen first. Ah, uh, uh, there he is. <laughs> yes! 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 Sorry for asking you to come out of the blue, Dr. Haruba. <laughs> Quite the contrary, Mr. Inaba. I'm thankful you thought to invite me. Mr. Weirdo, could you put my juice box into the cooler for me? <laughs> oh, Mr. Inaba! Could you be a doll instead of the beach umbrella? Uh, uh, who do these two think I am? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll assist you. Thank you kindly, Mr. Inaba, Dr. Harima. Yeah, you're welcome. You girls don't go too far out now. Please make sure to do some warm-up exercises before you start swimming. What a responsible dad. We will. But you guys should come over here and join us. Of course, I'll be right there. Uh, might as well. <laughs> okay, that was exactly sweet. That was really sweet. What the heck? Okay. I think at this point, we've seen everything we need to see. That was adorable. As I say, I think I've pretty much covered all of the endings. I think this is a nice one to end on. Although, did you see them both? Oh, there's even separate title screen themes for them. I'm sorry, that that's really sweet. I'm glad that we finally got to see the final entry to the series. And it really... Just say I wasn't sure this really was more upfront in the sort of corpse party uh, supernatural elements. But that really was a down-to-earth human mystery at the heart of it, after all. I mean, you had the first entry, which was a murder mystery with the uh, supernatural mystery at the heart of it all second game was just a straight-up murder mystery. The third game was a supernatural cursed house corpse party-like situation with a really human mystery at the heart of it all. And I'm kind of... I really like how that turned out. It was... It's really nice. Even the elements in here The elements in here Hell Just going into more detail about the, the backstory of Nina and Detective Inaba That was really sweet Just to th think that it all started with Just a Just a Random friend in the neighborhood who agreed to watch a kid for two days. 
and then just seeing how lonely she was. Fine, finally just took her hand and agreed to be her friend and look after her. I mean, really, the whole assistant Arimura deal started as just a means for Detective Inaba to just look after her so she didn't have to be alone all the time. And that's just really sweet. And even now, the prospect of Nina graduating, leaving the nest, so to speak, that's just, it really felt like the ending to their story, almost. There's still room for more adventures if they ever feel like going back to these to the series, but as a trilogy, this was a really nice ending. And I'm sure there's there is still a fair amount of small things that we can see in the game. With some dialogue variations and uh, possibly a variation where get all of the uh, diary entry get all the diary entries and take the pocket knife with us which is what originally leads to Sophia being killed in self-defense really nice it, it was a really sweet ride in the end. Once we finally got to see the mystery through. I'm not really sure what Ichinose really would have turned himself into the police about, unless to say that he killed the people in the mansion, but I didn't really find any traces of anyone dead in the mansion, did they? It was still... What do we say? I like to think one way or the other he just turned himself in for Sophia's sake. He really put that burden on himself. And really, he sh there's no reason for him to blame himself for what happened to Sophia, with her family leaving her. That's not something any kid should have to suffer through. And with just being sheltered and sh shut in for so long, being afraid to go outside, because... No wonder that she lost herself. But this is as good a place as any to end it. With the friends reunited. Friends reunited all all around. It's nice to see the series through. I'm glad we got the third game. I'd be curious to see what if, what else Suika Bar comes out with now that this series is put aside for now. Hope you enjoyed this series. Fairly short, on the shorter end overall, but worthwhile journey. If we ever need to revisit this to get some extra stuff. Really won't take that long, because all in all, the game's not that wrong, not that long. AGDQ, here we come. But for now, until next time, until then, thanks for watching.